Welcome back to Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We're broadcasting live from our sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. So much to talk about in our world of sports. So let's begin right here in Lagos. That's the venue for the National Handball League. A lot of interesting results from day nine. So let's do this, tell you what went down uh, in today's matches. Coas shooters, uh, it was close. They love to draw, but it was so close this time. They didn't pick a draw. They defeated Prism's key boys 29 to 28. Just see how close that was to have been another draw for Coas shooters. Bruno Spiders, 22. Safety shooters, 28. Plato Vipers, 29. Ninja United, 30. They're still on top of the table, showing some good consistency. They won the title. They're not blinking. Kada Stars, 21. Sokoto Rima, 21. That was a tight game of handball. Owena Kings 27, Kano Pillars 26. That tells you a lot of competitive handball going down right there at the Row Park Sports Complex in Yaba. D Defenders 29, Lagos Seasiders 37. Let's check out what the ladies gave to us on day nine of the National Handball League. Kada Queens 24, Seasider Babes 24, Owena Queens 17, Emo Grasshoppers 36, Edo Dynamos 21, Play 2 Peacocks 21, Desert Queens 36, Abia Valiant 25, Defender Babes 37, Safety Babes 44. So, uh, Safety Babes had to bounce back to winning ways. Also, uh, Winner Queens uh, still struggling. Winner Queens, after what happened with Safety Babes, they're still uh, trying to get their vibe back. Let's take a look at day 10 fixtures of the National Handball League. Winner Kings take on Borno Spiders. The defenders will go against Koa Shooters. Uh, Koa Shooters will be hoping to consolidate on today's win. Uh, Sokoto Rima will play Lagos Seasiders. Play two Vipers will play Kano Pillars. While Niger United, uh, league table toppers will take on Prison Key Boys. For the women, Safety Babes will play Desert Queens. Seasider Babes will take on Edo Dynamos. That should be a very tough one because both sides are on fire. Play Abia Valiant will play, play two Peacock. Awena Queens will play Kada Queens. Hopefully, they bounce back after that loss to Emo Grasshoppers. While Emo Grasshoppers will be hoping to consolidate on their win when they take on Defender Babes. So, there you have it. Um, updates coming from the National Handball League. Remember, games are being played um, every day at the Row Park Sports Complex in Lagos. It's all about the development of handball in the country. So that's it. Uh, some highlights of the games already played. Um, and you can see it's, it's a beautiful uh, sport. Oh, you should have. God, that's what, so what happened. Uh, so, so if you've got some time, you can just go to uh, the stadium and see uh, the Row Park Sports Complex and see some of the best of handball. It's being put together by the Handball Federation of Nigeria. Major objective is to develop the sport, is to get you and I talking, and then discover and nurture talent that will be discovered from the league. So, good one. Uh, we're monitoring it, and you can trust us to always bring you updates from the National Handball League that is taking place in Lagos. The first phase was done in Abuja. This is the second phase, and we like everything that was seen already from um, the league. Let's talk about the 2018 ITO Cup now, and that's football for you. Uh, quarterfinal results, let's revisit the quarterfinal results so you get to know what we'll be expecting in the semifinals. Now, Sarawa United, today they defeated El Kanemi by a single goal. Uh, Quara United lost to Katsina United right here in Lagos at the Agege Stadium. It ended 3 1. Uh, while Aqua United and Rangers in Kano at the Sunny Abacha Stadium, it ended 1 1. It was a beautiful game of football. Aqua United are the defending champions. Uh, but when it got to penalties, uh, it's anybody's game. And so, Enugu Rangers won 4-2 on penalties. And we will play in the semifinals of the ITO Cup. So, let's see the semifinal fixtures for the 2018 ITO Cup. Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about what happened right here in Lagos. That game between Katsina United and Quara United. We were already enjoying the run of Quara United. Some beautiful goals were also scored in that one. So Quara United, Katsina United, some of the teams that on a good day, you say, ah, these are not really uh, the sort of teams that should give us the spark that we saw in our football. It tells you there's been an all-round development. So, uh, Quara United scoring a goal from the penalty spot there, but Katsina United, look at the build-up. 
to this goal. What a beautiful play. Has so much talent in our football. Look at that. And a calm finish. So, uh, Katina United, can they continue this beautiful uh, run? Katina United head coach, uh, Abdullah Bifo, is not happy with his team. Why? They won. Why is he not happy? They have advanced to the semi-final. The Katina side beats Quara United 3-1. I told you at the Agege Stadium, the coaches, however excited, they did benefit from the defensive lapses that their opponent I gave to actually pick the victory. So you see, uh, Coach Bifo is doing small mind games. I'm not happy with my team. They won 3-1. They've advanced to the semi-finals just so in case their opponents are, are monitoring. They will think that they don't know what they are doing. Let's listen to Coach Abdullah Bifo and get more talking points from uh, the quarterfinal stage of the ITO Cup. Yeah, I think uh, today, I don't know what happened to my players. Today was the worst game I ever played since I joined Castellan United. But some games like that. But I think I thank them for being tactical. So being disciplined, so I really thank them for that. And uh, a lot of energy. So that's what makes us sustain Kwa United. And we work on their uh, lapses, the mistakes. Yeah, that is, you see our three goals is from their defensive blunder. So we get it right. I think I, I give it to them. We have to go back now and work very harder than what we have been doing before to make sure whoever comes our way for semi-final, we record another victory to play in the final. So uh, we need to sit to Coach B for that and say, oh, what are you talking about? Your, your team actually won by three goals to one, and then they've qualified for the semifinals, and then it's described as one of the worst games he has played. Uh, as coach of Katsina United. But we understand uh, some might games going on uh, right there. Um, it's not just Katsina United. Uh, more reactions coming uh, from that uh, loss. Uh, Quara United, we, we, we liked what we saw. Uh, we saw what they were doing and we're like, hmm, Quara United might just go all the way and then shock us. But uh, it didn't just happen. Katsina United uh, says, look, we want it more, and then went um, to advance to the semifinals. Let's listen to more talking points. Right from the very, very first day, we had this ambition that, because we were not happy the way the league ended. Our ambition, our intention was before was to pick a continental ticket. Our slot, our, the position we were before the league ended. I didn't mean the league ended, we would have gotten the continental, continental ticket. So what we, all of us who taxed ourselves that at least we should use this uh, Ethiopia Cup to prove to the whole Nigerians that we have, Kassina United have a better team or a good team to present this country. Before we come here, we know it is not an easy match. It's going to be a tough match. But we plan and we thank God that our plan worked out for us. Because we believe that if we work together, we are going to do it. And by the grace of God, we do it. 